Hello and welcome to Script Tonight React. I'm Script Tonight. Today we're going to be watching season one, episode eight of Castle Rock. This episode is called Past Perfect. This is making me think we're going to go back to Henry and figure out what's going on because if you remember when um, I nearly called him Virgil because it's the guy who reminds me of in The Leftovers, Odin Branch. When Odin Branch pushed Henry into the filter. So since last episode, which was, I've now had a week to process, to take it in. And absolutely, that was one of the best episodes of television I've ever seen, period. Of anything. It's, it's up there with just the best. Perfectly executed, perfectly acted, gorgeously written. It moved me in about every way it's possible to move a person through television. I just, uh, yeah, to, I remain spellbound. And I've now watched it about six or seven times. So it's really that good. That feels like a pretty good place to get into the episode. Season one, episode eight, past perfect. Let's have at it. The fundamental problem is that repression has become a dirty word when it is in fact a crucial Darwinian tool. <laughs> but uh, you know what I just can't forget? That you fucked my wife. That's why they're going to try a new area out. <laughs> and as soon as Main Street is redeveloped, property values are going to shoot through the roof, which, by the way, was just reshingled last year. Would they consider including the art? I thought we could, um, give it a shot. Can we just say it never happened? I'm trying. I didn't think you're trying, I think you're so okay. We got a booking. What? How long have you been married? Uh, 13 years. It's a two for me. Oh. Oh, we, we just needed a sleepy little town, so. I see, yeah. Oh. Oh, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> Someone's thinking of my murder. Henry. 
So if Henry was locked up, we gotta get back to the Desjardins. Where are those men? I don't know. Scene. Were you in there with me? Is that how you found me? Kind of. It... I know it was only a few hours, but it felt like years. I thought I knew how the world worked. What was real and what's not. They never made that mistake. <laughs> we know nothing. That sounds crazy. No, you sound the same as you sounded in this whole program. People have been calling me crazy my whole life. You get used to it. Does he finally get it? I'm sorry. Oh, thank God. You're not crazy. Could have told you this several episodes ago, Mr. Henry. I'm going to enjoy Henry a lot more now he's on board. Oh no, I've just remembered what he's going home to. <sighs> Wendell's God knows where as well. Mom? That's still running. <clears throat> what are you doing here? Where's my son? Where's his stab wound? Wendell. You all right? Yeah. He's still here? Go upstairs. Lock the door. Don't come out. What do you mean go upstairs? What's go wrong? Go upstairs. Lock yeah, the door. No. Oh, shit. <sighs> Alan. No! Wendell, no! What did you do? It... She was afraid. Confused. She killed him. He's not going to leave him, is he? If we take the body into the what? woods... What are you talking about? We have to protect her. We have to go. We have to go to the woods. Who are you? Why did you ask for me? I waited for you. I waited for 27 what? years. I rescued you from that basement, and I didn't ask for any of this. Molly's his alibi. He's not going down for this. <gasps> God, I did not know how disgusting I would ever find that. I don't think I've ever heard it. should be an actual murderer. According to authorities, several other suspects, in addition to the John Doe just released from Shawshank Prison, may have been involved in the disaster at Juniper Hill. CCTV footage revealed multiple patients lighting their mattresses on fire around the same time. Oh, Jackie! These residents had... No, I think... I don't know what... 
came over me. I'm not a murderer. Oh, I, I, Pose! Holy shit, I didn't even take that in! She backed him! <laughs> That's really shocked me. I thought, I just assumed he'd murdered her. Fucking dog. Play. It never happened. That looks to me like a quid pro quo. One hand washes the other. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, calm down. Hello? Johnny Carrick, 1929. Uh, yeah. Rather obscure. Mm, not to me. His cousin lost it all in the stock market crash. And Johnny here refused to help him. That is a felling axe. That's not a fire axe. Carrick was a fireman. You know oh. your axes. Um, Miss Torrance. Jackie. Nice to meet you. You too. Pulse. Is it just me? Or is anyone else waiting for something big to happen with Jackie? I just feel like they've made so much of her, but she's not really done anything. And like her personality is completely separate from everyone else in the town. She doesn't seem at all perturbed by anything that's going on. It's starting to make me a little bit suspicious. I mean, that's not a Debbie Downer on, I actually really like Jackie. I, I'm frustrated they haven't done more with her. Because I think Jane Levy is a fantastic actress and I feel like they're not just going to let this character ride out as like the odd bit of comic relief and an eye roll. Play. What you cooking, Jackie? What you cooking? What? Jackie! Is she excited that there's probably murder in that van? Oh, Dharma van. Oh shit! Uh, 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 Jackie, for fuck's sake! You don't. You you sniff first, Jackie. You sniff first. Oh.